Good morning, thanks for your company this Thursday the 26th of May. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Yesterday, the ASX 200 managed to lift 0.4% or 26 points higher to close at 7,155 points, despite the threat of rising interest rates and inflationary pressures again leading to a heavy tech sell-off. Consumer staple stocks led the way, with the sector lifting 1.5%, Financials also performed well, with all four of the big banks posting gains of over 1%. While the worst performing sector was the tech sector, which fell about 3%. The best performer yesterday was Australia's largest horticultural company, Costa Group Holdings, CGC is its ticker code, which closed 8.6% higher. This followed its shareholders receiving a cautiously optimistic outlook for the 2022 financial year in its AGM yesterday. CGC expects its earnings to be $5 million higher this year, while its after-tax profit is predicted to fall $6.4 million. Other stocks that posted gains included New Farm, NUF, Purchase Mining, PRU, and Orica, ORI. Meanwhile, Chalice Mining, CHC, City Sheet Collective, CCX, and ProMedicus, PME, all posted losses of around 6%. As for the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients yesterday, they included BHP Group, Lake Resources, Bank of Queensland, and Brainchip, BRN. Moving to the US, all three benchmarks closed higher. The Dow closed 0.6% higher, the S&P 500 up 1%, and the Nasdaq pushed 1.5% higher. The minutes of the Federal Reserve's May meeting were released and they showed that the central bank is prepared to raise rates further than the market had anticipated. Now in terms of what to watch today on the Aussie share market, Following the positive session in the US, the SPY futures are suggesting that our local market is set to open 0.2% higher this morning. Reporting wise, iron ore miner Champion Iron CIA is set to release its full year results today. Goldman Sachs is expecting CIA to report both revenue and EBITDA increases of 14 and 12.8% respectively over the prior corresponding period. Moving to commodities, the oil price lifted 1% to US $110 a barrel. Natural gas surged to above $9, its highest level since 2008, as inventories stay low. The gold price fell as the US dollar strengthened after the minutes of the Federal Reserve's May meeting, and the spot iron ore price is trading 1.5% lower at US $130 a tonne. Now, one company debuting on the ASX today is TG Metals. The company is pursuing nickel, lithium and gold exploration and development opportunities in Western Australia. It will be trading under the ticker code TG6. There are also a few companies going ex-dividend today. These include Aristocrat Leisure, ALL, James Hardy Industries, JHX and New Farm, NUF. And finally, if you hold Bank of Queensland, BOQ, you'll receive your dividend payment today. Now let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. City have maintained its buy rating on Bank of Queensland, but have reduced its price target from $10.25 to $9.25. At its current share price of $7.52, this implies 23% share price growth in a year. Finally, Trading Central has a bearish signal on BHP, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $43.02 to the range of $33.50 to $35.25 in the next 89 days according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that is all for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy trading.